Hey there, everybody. I so hope that you are all doing good on this Friday afternoon, a very sunny Friday afternoon. As a matter of fact, I just sat in the sun for a little bit. What a pleasure on like October 21st to sit in the sun. It was very, very nice. I put together seven ephemera folders for the shop, you guys. This was most of the things in these folders were included in Angela's big happy mailbox that I did an unboxing of earlier this week. So you might recognize some of the things that we went through that day. I wanted to do these in a very simple fashion. They are cardstock covers, cardstock covers, eight. And a uh, four and a quarter by eight. I think that's right. Hang on. Yeah, four and a quarter by eight. I thought this size would be really easy to kind of slip into a traveler's notebook if you're so inclined to use that sort of thing. I just I thought the size was fun. So. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take everything out because I've got everything placed exactly the way I want it. But we can just kind of flip through here and you can see what kind of ephemera that I did put into here. Um, there are cutouts. There are, mm, you know, that would make a nice piece right there. Darn, I wish I would have noticed that. No, I <laughs> kept it for myself. Don't you love that? That's really, really pretty. We have images, cardstock, cutouts. Some of these are, are actual pieces that our dear Angela actually put together. I love this little Christmas. Uh, this is a Christmas pocket right here. So lots of, lots of super fun possibilities there. A little bit of, of old advertising here. You've got a lot of cardstock, a lot of uh, pieces and parts to, to play with. Now, when you get something like this, my son and I were talking today, and he was like, you know, Mom, how you always tell people that... Um, that you give them the creative fodder and then it's up to them to do something with it. And I said, yeah, well, he is doing these beautiful paintings. I know if you are, if you join me on Facebook, you'll, you'll see some of the paintings that I've been sharing with y'all over there. And he said, you know, that's kind of like when I do a painting, it's up to the person who buys it as to what they're going to do with it. Are they going to display it on a shelf? Are they going to display it on a wall? Are they going to use it in an entryway? And I said, yeah, because that is art. Art is, you know, you have art supplies and then it's up to you and your intuition and your artistic spirit to really put things together and make them absolutely your own. I kind of love this piece right here. This one says vacation. I think what I'm going to do is, is probably call this one magic. Just look for them in the, in the Etsy store. All different kinds of things, cutouts, stickers, just a lot of stuff. <laughs> I wanted it to be really jam-packed. You've got uh, tags here to play with as well. I love these images. And these are, look at that. Isn't that sweet? I love her little mink coat here. What a cozy, cozy, um, cozy image to bring you into the fall and winter. So we've got magic right here. This one is, I always got to choose a name, Dream Vacation. And again, you have the little cutout butterfly. We have playing cards for you to alter. These are steampunk playing cards. I thought those were really fun. I love this image. We've been watching the Rings of Power. Are you guys watching that? I think it's very interesting. I had no idea there was a story behind The Hobbit. I've always started at The Hobbit and proceeded through the rest of Tolkien's books. I was very interested to learn that there's a whole backstory to everything. I thought that was really cool. The backstory is sometimes a little convoluted and a wee bit. I've got ephemera right here for you. I love this piece, you guys. It says received month, day for poultry, eggs, and feathers. I think this was from, um, uh, you know, you used to have a general store. You used to also have a store called a necessary, which 
provided you with the necessary items for uh, for cooking and cleaning and taking care of your farm or house or whatever you have. So another ephemera folder here. And like I said, they're cardstock. And some of the cardstock was a little bit thin, so I put these backing pieces on here. Uh, they just fold together. This one, what are we gonna call this one? Let's see what we have in here. There's a, a, an airplane, and I do like that. I liked this cardstock because it's from a Christmas pack. It's dark, you know, it's kind of mysterious. It's holly, and you can see the berries right here. You can see the snow falling around the holly, but I just thought, hmm, dark holly. And doesn't, doesn't, that, doesn't that just sound like mystical and magical and witchy and Halloween-ish? Uh, lots of items in here, of course. This one is... I have to pick out pieces and parts. Uh, hey! Look, this one's titling itself Moses because this is a picture of a, a, a sculpture of Moses. So we'll call this one Moses. Oddly, Moses kind of looks like Santa Claus. Hmm, what about that? So we'll call this one Moses. Love this. Not that Well, that would, there you go, see. <laughs> You're making pieces already, and you haven't even gotten it. I'm very proud of you and your intuition there. Your artistic intuition. Lots of things to play with and have fun with. I like a whole, I like the idea of a whole different assortment of things to work with. And that's what you have here. You know, sometimes we can go to our supplies and we're pulling out things we love. And then sometimes we go to our supplies and it's like, oh, uh, uh, I'm so bored with everything in here. This is a bright start, uh, a fresh start, things you've never seen before, things that are intriguing, things that are beautiful, things that are in, in interesting to put together. Uh, we got to come up with a title. How about Bliss? That's a great title. So this one is Bliss. I only made seven. I do have quite a lot of fodder left to play with. So I'll probably make a couple more of these. And I also have a lot of things that I would like to contribute to them. I did use mostly Angela's. Um, awesome, awesome contribution in that giant box. I thought this was a sweet piece. It's a wee card with a wee little envelope. And again, it's designed to where you can stick it into a traveler's notebook or, you know, any sort of folio that you might have. You can just bind it in there. Uh, speaking of closures and binding and closures, I will probably just tie these with a bit of ribbon or a bit of lace. Um, I did not put, you know, I wasn't going to put like a proper closure on it. And this is the very last one right here. This one, we didn't title this one. What can we call this one? Um... Let's call this one Car Carnival Days. We'll call that Carnival Days. I did put some Carnival Ephemera back in here. So you have all kinds of fun things to play with. And this one, we'll call it Free as a Bird. Mm, that's a nice thought going into winter when we're kind of hunkered down and we're kind of, you know, maybe get blue, maybe get a little bit sad. It's nice to think about being free as a bird in the spring and in the summer and then flying away to a tropical location in the winter. Hmm. Free as a bird, right? 
All right, guys, I'm putting the, these in the store today. They are $12. It will be $5 to ship them to you. Along with each, of course, you always get a special little treat from me. And right now, they are um, fodder pockets. I'll just call them that. They're lots of fun. So more fodder for your ephemera folders. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I will be back to talk about the books that we've been working on. I had to take a break with my hand. Uh, probably get back to books probably tomorrow, which is Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with me. Talk to you soon. Bye.